Back here on Inside the League, I'm Tyler Jacobs with Bryant McFadden, a very special guest inside the stadium studios. This is Otis Wilson, former Chicago Bears defensive player who was on, of course, that 85 Bears Super Bowl team. He just co-authored a book called If These Walls Could Talk, mm. The Chicago Bears. Otis, tell us why you wanted to write this book and tell us what inspired you to put pen to paper and kind of relive some of the memories from your NFL career. You know, I've been in the league for 10 years, you know, through 80, through 90, and I've been around so many athletes, baseball, basketball, and football, and experienced some of the things that they've done and talked about and just lived. And I said, at some point in my life and career, I think I have a story to tell. And just simple as, okay, let me put my thoughts down. Do I want to do it now? Then. It just seemed like the right time. Um, Friday, I'll be 60. And I wow, just you're, wanted... You're 60? Yeah, I'll be 60 Friday. You look like you still play. And I just wanted to, you know, <laughs> get that story out because mm -hmm. I have so many great memories, so many great individuals I've been around that motivated me that I had fun with, though. So, you know, I, I don't want to say I'm throwing somebody under the bus, <laughs> but the names have changed to protect the innocent. I'm just giving it all out <laughs> That's there. Fair. And, That's fair. And, and we're going to, you know, we just... It might help somebody. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, I think reading is the feedback that I've gotten so far because I've given it to about six guys and back in my neighborhood and if you're in everybody said, oh, that is great. That's just what you said, just what you were talking about, and it's a great book. So I'm, I'm happy Chet, the Chet Copic and I, we sat down and ironed everything out. So it's a little bit about where I came from, how I navigated through that, my college days, um, obviously those 85 yeah. stories because – we were like rock stars. Mm. We pulled up, and we just had fun. I mean, being on top of the world in your six, I mean, in your, being 26, mm -hmm. that's, that's dangerous, you know? <laughs> so I had to tell those stories, and, and then a little bit after football, you know, how people make transition from one phase to the next. So it, it's some good reading. I'm, I'm excited about it, and I thank you for having me on. And, yeah. We're just, let's go see how this thing gonna unfold. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to check it out myself. You know, talking about the 85 Bears, you know, you were part of what many believe was one of the best defenses in NFL history. What made your defense so good? And how do you feel if you were able to put that 85 defense in today's game? Wow. How would that competition be far as going against these elite offenses, spread <laughs> offenses? And the game's a bit softer now yeah. than when you played. Right. But how do you think your, your game, based on how you play the game in 85, will translate in today's game? Well, let me start off by saying Buddy Ryan. Mm -hmm. You know, Buddy Ryan's a military guy, and his strategies are unbelievable. But yet, he had the horses. Because mm -hmm. when you line up on one side, you had Richard Dent and Wilbur Marshall. Yeah. Cause, you know, because um, you know, Al Harris sat out. You have the underside. You had Hampton and myself. You know, you had Fridge and Steve McMichael's in the middle. You have Singletary in behind them. Who do you double team? Nobody. You know, that team was so aggressive. You know, it was tailor-made for us. And we had so much respect for what Buddy was doing, you know, because Buddy would say every, every game, y'all ready to bring the whoop ass. That was his <laughs> saying. Because he knew it was an attack defense. You put a nine-man front up there, and, you know, Dave Durson, you know, filled in for Todd Bell, you know, which was a great athlete. And we had... Eight two-time Pro Bowlers in our defense. Les Frazier at that time, um, Mike Richardson, and I, I can't think of who the other one read. Right oh, Fridge. Mm -hmm. We're the only guys that hadn't been to the Pro Bowl. And we were hungry. We were, got to a point where we were tackling each other. You know, so we just got out there. We wanted to have fun. We just wanted to destroy things and put numbers because we would look at one week and say, okay, because our goals were to hold a team to under – 100 yards total offense. I mean, 50 passing, whoa, 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 50 whoa. rushing. 100 yards total offense. Total offense. We did it three times. You go look at the stats. That was the goal. They did not come across the 50-yard the line on us. When I bought, when Walton them got that ball, they were on either the 45-yard line or the 40-yard line. But some great stories that you'll want to uh, hear, as you saw. Uh, this man's got a lot of insight that he can share with us. Again, thanks so much for yeah. coming and joining us. And happy early birthday again, yeah. man. Happy early 60s. Well, Looks like you could still get out there and knock some heads around a little well, bit. Well, I think he can attest to this. I'd rather hang out in the locker room with the fellas and get paid like that, but I don't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but thanks for having me. I yeah, certainly appreciate you guys. Pleasure. And keep up the good work. Otis, Pleasure. it was a treat having you around. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.